Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's good to be with you, coming to you from the St. Rita Shrine in Chicago on this, the fifth Sunday of Lent, also St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. And let us begin, as we always do, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us continue to remember all on our prayer list for all those who have asked for our prayers, for all those for whom we have promised to pray. And in a special way, maybe anyone who's experiencing difficulties and for all of your own personal intentions. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever, loses, whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will be my servant. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. The Father will honor whoever serves me. My friends, how are you and I, as we continue our Lenten journey, serving? How are we honoring our God by following his Son? How are we being faithful in all that we say and do? And this gospel, remember, anyone in the stories of the gospel they did not know how things were turning out or were going to turn out. They were living what was happening. And so you and I, though, we know how it goes. And so in this gospel today, Jesus is foretelling the way he will die. And do you know how easy it could have been for Jesus to say, you know what, I'm not going to do this. You know, everyone knows God loves us. God loves me. I love you. But he said, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my Father's will. And so he is our example. To follow the example and the will of the Father, he came to save us from sin and death forever. And so we are then called to follow the example of the Son, to follow the example of Jesus Christ, who always gave Jesus, who always gave, Jesus always gave his Father the glory. And they always talk about their relationship with each other. And it's a beautiful and wonderful thing. And how they share that relationship with us. And so how blessed we are as Christians, which means we're to be another Christ, which means we are a follower. We are a follower of Jesus. And as we continue this Lenten journey, friends, and, you know, we're coming closer to Holy Week and then to Easter. What have you been doing this Lent? How have you been doing? Have you been doing a good? Have you been having a good Lent? then keep having one. If you haven't done much, then let's start right now. Let's start right now doing the best that we can be, the best that we can do by being the best and by following Jesus. And when Jesus foretold his death here, we know what he did for us, and he did it out of pure love. He did not have to do it, but he did it because of the love he had for his father and how the father wanted to save us by sending his only son. 
And so, my friends, how good it is that we are here to continue our Lenten journey, to never give up, and to always keep Jesus as our center. And in this, this year of the Eucharist, as we're celebrating in our country, let us always be grateful for all that Jesus has given us. And let us always receive him in the Eucharist, which gives us the courage and the strength to keep on keeping on. And so today, as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day, we know St. Patrick was the great missionary. He never gave up. He always went forward. And on Tuesday, we celebrate the great feast of St. Joseph, the father, stepfather of Jesus Christ. Joseph, this unbelievable wise man, let's follow his example. And remember, he never spoke a word in Scripture. I still think God was telling us something when he gave us two ears and one mouth. I think we're supposed to listen twice as much as we speak. So let us ask the powerful intercession of St. Patrick and St. Joseph. Let's have a great week. Please pray for me and the people of St. Robert Bellarmine in Warrington, Pennsylvania, where I'll be for the mission. And I hope and pray that all of us will continue our Lenten journey doing and being the best we can. Thank you for being here. And if you can, press like. When you do that, it is amazing how YouTube then sends the video out to others. And we're truly evangelizing. So if you can, please help out by pressing that you like it. So thank you. God bless you all. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.